What's up YouTube? It's your boy Mike here from People's Choice Gaming and today I got a video for you guys that's going to be about the best secondary weapon in the game. Can you guys guess what it is? Yep, it is the Brack. This isn't going to be a breakdown video. I've already done this weapon very recently considering it just came out from the last uh, event that we that we did. But the reason I'm calling this weapon the best secondary weapon the best secondary in the game isn't just because it's the highest damage secondary weapon in the game, but it's also the best all-around secondary in the game because it does the highest damage for all factions. So yes, it is the best. It's practically the best weapon in the whole game, period, if it wasn't for my Synapse doing about 14,000 damage, close to 30,000 damage a second on headshots, which is just amazing and the best primary in the game which you will see a video for that in not too long guys I promise but I wanted to show a little bit of quick gameplay here I was able to one shot clear up into the hundreds only got one form on this bad boy and I'm gonna jump into the build breakdown here very shortly and show you guys the best way to mod this weapon for all factions to get the best damage you can I mean, you're going to literally be doing over 13,000 damage. That's what I was doing on these infested. And Corpus would be even more damage than that. And I wasn't even using my max damage build here. And <laughs> I don't even have the build done yet. I could still add one more damage mod. I could add even more. I could add some crit to it. And then I'd probably hit 20 freaking K a shot with this weapon. Damn, I hope the D don't, the devs don't nerf it, because it is just plain nasty. Alright, let's jump into modding this weapon. Alright guys, let's go ahead and go over how to mod your Brack uh, best for all three factions. Get the most damage we can. Last time I did a regular level 30 Catalyst build, so we're going to do a one forma build this time. And if you really like this weapon, you can add one more uh, V polarity. I already added one, it comes with a dash and a V. So you can add one more V, and that'll give you enough mod points to throw in an ammo mutation mod if you want to take it up on some really high survival. Or you could just add some more damage and use your ammo boxes, which is what I normally do when I'm trying to, you know, go for the, uh, the records, you know, and the really uh, high survival. Especially since you can use, you know, the team ammo restores, you know, pretty much indefinitely. Uh, from that one you buy on the market, you can just keep making them and making them. So, ammo mutations, it's really not needed as as much as it used to be. Also, if you're not doing uh, high level enemies, like anywhere from 100 to 120 and up, you don't even need one forma. Uh, you could drop, you know, one of your damage mods because it does that much damage. I mean, over 13,000 damage I was doing on uh, the high level ancients. It was just just crazy. And as far as crit, um, that can pretty much be up to you. It's not really going to matter. Like, if you were to use a 30% Bane mod, um, you're going to do the same damage pretty much if you use crit chance mod to bring you up to 33% chance crit, or if you use like a 30% Bane mod. So, it's uh, whatever you want to do. If you want to do even a little bit more damage, you could put a Magnum Force in instead of a um, you know Bane mod or Pistol Gambit so I like to go with either the Pistol Gambit you know or the Bane mod and then you'll be able to easily add the ammo mutation you know after one more forma or put another forma in and then add the uh, Magnum Force you know after your Bane mod or Pistol Gambit for the uh, top top damage alright starting off with Infested we got Barrel Diffusion, Horn of Strike, and Lethal Torrent in. We're going to have those on all three builds. Get Horn of Strike up as high as possible. If you can't get it all the way to the top, that's fine though. You're going to want to use Ice and Fire to make the Blast combo, which is going to do 25% bonus against Infested. And with the Brack, you're going to be knocking them down constantly, which is really, really useful. You're going to want to use Deep Freeze, Ice Storm, and Heat of Charge. For Corpus, exact same build, except instead of Hellfire, you're going to put in a Cavalchion. 
And this is going to be ice and electric to make magnetic, which is 75% bonus against shields and a 50% bonus against robotic. And we're not going to talk about its proc. It just uh, lowers the maximum shields. It's not really good proc. And for Grenier, you're going to use your main three mods here and a pistol gambit. But then we're going to do a electricity and toxic to make our corrosive combo. So it's pathogen rounds and convulsion. That's going to do 75% bonus against armor and 50% bonus against robotic. And then a bane mod. Or, you know, if you wanted to, you could use a magnum force uh, at 10 points, which will be 42% damage. So a little more damage than a bane mod or a pistol gambit. Uh, it's, you know, completely up to you. It's not really going to be, you know, that much, uh, you know, difference in damage. So it doesn't really matter if you use uh, the Bane mod or, you know, the Magnum Force. And that's pretty much it, guys. Amazing weapon. It's, uh, <laughs> since damage 2.0, this weapon is just, you know, ridiculous. Like, not even, not even needing a Forma and being able to one-shot up in the hundreds it, it's just crazy so I'm really hoping they don't nerf this weapon because uh, it's really nice right now so I hope you guys enjoy the video please comment like and subscribe check out my twitch links in the description and I'll catch you guys later peace